Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and this is the first episode of what will be a sporadically updated series called Game Challenge. Basically, whenever I find something you can do in a game that's not quite what you're supposed to do in the game, but difficult and fun, I'm going to chuck it up here. This one is called Scarab vs Ghost and is the Halo 2 level Metropolis. I'm playing it on the Xbox here, but I assume it'll work on the Xbox One on the new release. As you can see, it's towards the end of the level just before you have to go up and face the Scarab. I really do miss Halo 2 Ghosts, I think the Halo 4 ones are much less powerful. The first thing you want to do is not flip right there, like I did. Very cool. Take the scar uh, no, take the ghost power, rather, up the stairs and run over anyone you want because they just get in your way anyway, and they're not super soldiers, so who needs them? Seriously, if you can't get out of the way of what is a 10 ton super soldier riding a hover motorbike, then there's something wrong with you and you don't deserve to be in the UNSC. Alright, go straight past and head up here. What I'm doing here is actually trying to shoot the, um, the, the turrets on top of the scarab because if you get rid of the turret on the scarab here, you won't have to deal with it getting in your way later. Also, interestingly, if you get rid of the turret here, when you go to the next floor up, the marine with the machine gun turret is gone, which is weird. So, just wait for the scarab to step over, big lumbering thing it is. I'll probably use one of those as the screenshot for the, um, the thumbnail image. Run over that guy because he's a, he's in your way. It's better to actually get a more beat up ghost so you don't have to deal with the wings, but I've not done that because I, I went for aesthetics over, over functionality. Now this here is the tricky bit, or the first bit of the tricky bit. You want to jump off the bridge here and aim for the middle open bit of the scarab. If you land on top, you get sort of stuck on it for a while, and when you eventually go under a bridge, it scrapes you off like gum from the bottom of a shoe, and you can keep going, but it's a bit harder to stay on there, and if you land on the sides of the scarab, you're going to get thrown off straight away. Also, if you miss the scarab, you'll obviously go in the water. And this part is actually far more difficult than it looks, because every time the scarab takes a step, you get shook around. If you get to the edge there, you're pretty much screwed, you'll go right over. Once you get down into the bowels of the scarab, it's a little bit safer, but you still have to deal with all of these troops. Now, I should mention here that I'm playing this um, on normal mode. It is possible to do it on legendary or heroic, um, and I, I used to do it back in the day when Halo 2 had first come out and I spent all of my time playing it, but it's not possible to do on heroic or legendary if you're rusty as hell at the game, so this is just doing it on normal. Also, it takes too many bullets to kill elites when they're on legendary. It kind of takes the fun out of the game. They just become fun. Uh, they they become bullet sponges, like all of the Didac troops in Halo 4. God, those are a bore to fight. So just slaughter everyone you can. Eventually, you can squeeze through there, or more of you can do it at any point. This is why I mentioned it was better to use a ghost with wings damage because it is a quite small area to get through, and you have to go on an angle. But just like the bench through the um, through the small corridor at the end of the game, you can get the vehicle through there. It's just, it's difficult. I could have perhaps edited this part out, but I didn't want to do a cut-up video because I wanted to show that it could be done. Um, so I might as well just throw in our advertisements here. If you're into reviews of Atari 2600 games, this channel has on it Grin Reviews, which is the other gentleman working on this channel, and if you're into sci-fi movie reviews, I do reviews called Sci-Fi Minecart also on this channel. So if you're interested in either of those things, check them out, I'll put links in the description and at the end of the video. And uh, if you want more of this stuff, subscribe and it'll eventually come up as soon as I think of more challenges to do. Okay, so once you're on this angle, even with a not that damaged ghost, you can eventually screw, uh, squeeze your way through. As you can see, it's sort of phasing through the wall a little bit. It's on a weird angle, and there we go. Nice and through. I think you actually pass here when you don't move for a little while, but first I get boarded because I wasn't paying attention to my, um, my radar enough. Well, I was. I actually just thought the red dots were above me, but who cares? What's done is done. Take your ghost back, slaughter everyone. 
Kill him for thinking he could take your ghost from you. Kill that other dude. Everyone must die. And there you go. You have just defeated a scarab in Halo 2 using a ghost. Hoorah. That's right, you mothers. Run. I have been and still am Grim Grindle. Thanks for watching.